This is code.org. Let's see what's next. Now take your shape and draw two or three in a row by jumping forward some number of pixels. Okay, if you don't have code here yet, you need to go back to the other section. If you're stuck on it, you can watch my tutorial. Let me hit run. That's what I have so far. Ta-da, the square. If you jump forward by less than the width of your shape, you might overlap, right? Okay, if you jump forward by more than the width of your shape, you'll get a gap. So you could do it like this or that. So if what they're saying there is if I put, oh, you know what we should do. So to draw more than once, we're going to use a loop inside of a loop, right? A nested loop. So we need to draw it three times. I'm going to put a three here. And then I'm going to put this in here because this says, okay, do this three times. And what are we doing three times? Well, we're drawing four sides. If you're drawing four sides, three separate times, you're drawing a, uh, you're going to be drawing three squares right now, though, we can't see it. We keep going around, but we're just drawing them on top of each other. So what do we want to do at the end of each square? Well, we'd want to jump, right? We need to move somewhere. Now, if I put it in here, and that's way far, let's do 20. If I put it in here, this happens. I jump every side. Every time I draw a side, I take a jump. But if I put it down here, all of the sides are drawn together. Once all the sides are drawn, then I take a jump. However, this isn't enough. 30, 20 pixels, my sides are 30 pixels long, all right? And I end this, I end drawing, well, here, let me check this out. I end drawing my square right here. So if I jump forward only 30, I'm still at this side of my square because my square is 30 long. So what I should do then, I'm going to jump 50 because that will clear the square. I'll be farther out and I can draw the next. Boom. Got it. Nested loops. One loop, second loop. Okay. Let's keep going. 